you love me. Girl, we got so much tea. Subscribe right now. All right. Hey, how y'all doing, baby? So let's talk about it. Okay, Ari Lennox responds after some people criticize her for expressing her disappointments and not winning that Soul Train Award. Okay, she is upset. She is mad that y'all is criticizing her. She feel like she can't take a break. Like every time I want to express myself, why am I getting criticized? Maybe because you're doing it in a public platform, okay? This is social media. Now you know how people are. You know when you put your thoughts out here in the world. Lord have mercy. Lord help us. But anyway, um, so she has something more to say, so let's get into it. So, as you guys can see here, it says, you know what I realized? People who genuinely F with me understand my frustration. People who are self hating haters clearly have never given my music a chance got the biggest problem with me anyways okay no one would have to worry about me complaining after this current complaint laughing out loud what i would do what i will not do is ever be this depressed again damn she is really depressed over this. You know, they thought about, who said this? Was it Kanye West back a long time ago? Um, that we should not be giving out awards to people because it makes people losers and it, it brings people depressed. And didn't he say that like a long time ago, you know? Well, maybe that's how she feel. Do you guys feel that way? Maybe we should stop the award shows. Nobody gets awards because so people won't feel left out like her. Or do you think that she should just get with the program and just come harder on the next album? Just keep on pushing, you know? Um, allow your success to be your success and not being awarded, you know? Because some people wait for it. Don't wait for no damn award. Just be happy that it was successful. You came this far 10 years ago. Who Nobody knew your ass, but now they do, okay? So you are still winning because you are at, at a spot where many people want to be at. But she don't want to hear that. She want to win that damn award. That's the only thing she's thinking about. She's not taking in consideration that it's so many people that she where she is, you already won, girl. Really? She already won. She just don't see it that way. She need an award for it. So let's go here. And it said it's. It's not just an award. Okay, well, let me know. It wasn't any award show. It was the Soul Train Awards, okay? As you can see, I'm a big fan of the soul music and huge fan of Soul Train history. All right. So she wanted that Soul Train. Why can't you just apply next year? It ain't over. Okay, but... Being snubbed was something I always expected and was definitely prepared for. Just not by them. Okay. All right. But you expressing this, how does it, how do, do you ever think about how would it make hear, her feel? Like, how would it make her feel? You know, she's hearing this, she won. You ain't congratulate your sister. You know, here over there, like, well, damn. Are you trying to say I don't deserve it? You should be just thankful for that. I don't know. She going to be in her own little self. So being snub was something I always expected, but was definitely prepared, just not by the Soul Train Award. My intent was to never shade other nominees. Well, that's the hell you're doing. I'm hurt, and I don't expect soulless haters to understand that. It seems like you're so self-centered. I'm sorry. It's like you in a classroom and somebody else beat you to the punchline and you're like, no, I should have won it. I wanted to win it. I, 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 I. It ain't about you. Okay? Be thankful that we have Soul Train Awards. And like I said, why can't she just apply next year? And next year, isn't she a new artist? Or is she not? 
She act like this her 15th time trying and she just can't get it. Okay. So anyway, I'm hurt and I don't expect soulless haters to understand it. Now, why you got to be offensive? Just because people don't agree with you, they're soulless and they're haters. Every time I wrap my mind around it, I just can't accept it. It feels like a breakup. I made a soulful album. I've never ran from who I am. I just expected that one platform to understand that. Well, they nominated your ass. <laughs> Didn't they nominate her? So what's the problem? So you, do you want here to give her award back so they can give it to you? Would that make you happy? I think that would make her happy. But how would here feel? You don't think about here. All you think about is yourself. I don't know. It, it, to me, it comes off self-centered. But I'm, I'm a soulless hater, so what, what I know. It takes a lot of energy to do these things. And ultimately, this was hard loss for me, okay? Me being honest doesn't make me less gracious or less star-worthy. Well, you, some things you just keep to yourself. You know, you don't have to express everything you're feeling on social media. You don't got to tell us all how you feel. Keep it to yourself, okay? Be a celebrity, okay? So Y'all don't know how to be celebrities no more, man, okay? Y'all want to pick and choose when to be celebrity. Y'all want to pick and choose when to be normal. So to all those who those annoyed with me, you got it. I I won't lo I won't lose my mind over this stuff. I will save my sanity. Well, you annoyed over them too. Y'all both annoyed at each other. So, whew. damn, she got more. Tired of being annoying. Tired of being annoyed. I just ain't built like the rest of them. This shit ain't for me. It's clear I'm not cool enough, not trendy enough. I don't care to be. I don't strive for that. I'm not going to chase that shit ever again. No more fake to my part. But you know what, Erica Badu, she was different, and she still made it, and she's still here. You know, a lot of girls are different, and they still made it. What about... um? I not got the girl on the video, and them and them and them and then the price of my soul. You know her; she she was different, but it's not just the awards. SBB was slept on in so many ways. I'm too emotional to pretend like I can play this game. Okay, for people who saying I started, no, I've been grinding since 2009. There was so much madness leading up to right now. All right. Dear fake fans, please unfollow. I'm not entitled. I'm hurt. There's a deeper things I would love to say, but I just can't. It's not entitlement. It's just disrespectful. All right, so look at how many artists who've been in the game 20 plus years and never received an award. Um, Brian McKnight holds the record for the most Grammy nominations ever without a single win. Okay, but okay, can I just say something? Don't ever let award define you, don't let uh, somebody else giving out trophies, no matter what group it may be, don't let it define you. If they didn't give it to you, doesn't mean that you're not successful. Doesn't mean that you're less than. It just means that it was you wasn't what they was looking for at that moment. It's okay. I still win. You a winner with them, boo. Okay. So comment. Let us know what you guys think about her ranting and her being disappointments. All right. Comment. Let us know, and I will see y'all sooner than later. Bye. Oh, uh, hold on.
because I have something else that's coming in. So check this out. Her last thing, she says, I'm not selling out, so I quit. All right. <laughs> 